very, very much. I'm sorry I'm only just coming here now. I've had a lot of events on here uh, this evening, and I'm seeing many people that I first met in 1974 when I was a councillor in Haringey, and we were then trying to bring some peace to Cyprus at that time and find places to support the many Cypriot people that came to North London then. And uh, obviously that is a very long time ago, but I want to say a fantastic contribution has been made to life all over the country uh, by the Cypriot community that came at that time, opened businesses, employed people, and played a huge part in our community, and still do. And I consider myself very honoured to know so many people that have done so much for our society over all those years. The issue of Cyprus is, of course, still not resolved. There has to be reunification. I'm sorry that the talks appear to have uh, stalled yet again, but there cannot be forever the partition of the island. There has to be a coming together. There has to be a reunification. And I'm absolutely determined that for all of my political life, I will continue with that position and continue campaigning for the reunification of Cyprus so that everyone can live once again on the island wherever they wish to live on it. I think that has to be the basis of the, of, of the whole policy. I also want to say, uh, for those that have contributed so much to our political life, and that Bambos now being elected to Parliament means there is a, a authentic Cypriot voice in Parliament, and I'm proud to call him one of my friends. I'm proud to call him a member of Parliament from the Labour Party, and I know that he will be that voice for Cyprus in Parliament. But he cannot do it alone. The voice has to be outside, the voice has to be inside, and the voice has to be very, very determined. Because so many people have suffered in the past and continue to suffer the hurt of what happened during those terrible days in the 1970s. And it's up to us politically here to get it right. I see a number of colleagues around here who are MPs in North London. My good friend Catherine West. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> and representing Hornsey and Wood Green as my nearest political uh, neighbour and a very good friend of mine. Thank you all very much for giving me a few moments tonight. And thank you for everything you do in the community, all the community events you put on, and that sense of unity you bring to people who are Turkish Cypriots or Greek Cypriots, because at the end of the day, it is about the unification yeah. of the island of Cyprus yeah. for both communities and both languages. Thank you all very much. For you. I think Bambos must now say something. <laughs> well, I know he has, but I didn't just, hear it. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows, that, everyone knows that Jeremy's been a great friend of Cyprus for many, many years. Um, when, when I was young, I, I used to go on demonstrations, and Jeremy was always there when there was no publicity, speaking up for Cyprus, making sure that our voices were heard, and making sure that we had a voice in Parliament. And I know that Jeremy will continue to do that. Uh, and I'm proud to be part of the Labour Party, led by Jeremy, that will actually make things happen. Uh, it's a team effort, and we've got great friends of parliamentarians across the parties, but I know as a Labour Party that we can actually really make a difference now, and it, we need to work together to make things happen. So let's hope we, we do actually bring a united Cyprus about uh, in this parliament with Labour support and with friends across the parties, and we can really make it happen. But I can't thank Jeremy enough for all the support he's shown over the years, uh, for Cyprus, and I'm very proud to be his friend. Thank you. Enough of this, enjoy the food. <laughs>